Hello, this is Joyce, and I'm back. This is the second time I've had to do this video. I thought it was done, and evidently I hadn't turned it on, hadn't turned the camera on. So when I went to upload it, it was nothing there but the tail end with no sound. So I am back to redo this, and this is going to be uh, another D stash. It is going to be lot 10. And we are going to call this one metals and wood uh, veneers or wood and metal. Uh, Any way you want to look at it. Um, that is what we're going to do. And I have all kinds of metal pieces that I use a little but not a lot. And so I'm going to, I feel like I need to let it go. Just like everything else, let's just let it go. And so we are going to start with this uh, industrial ch cheek, chic. It's like a door handle, a doorknob with all the pieces. And yes, I still have a squeaky chair. I'm looking for a chair, but haven't found one. And it just shows you a lot of ways that their stuff is used. And they use it for jewelry and all kinds of things. But I think this would be a great look on a box or something similar to that. So we're including that. I have these shoe clips. And on the back they show you putting, um, adding decorations to a... Um, Flip flop. I don't wear flip flops. And after looking at these and thinking, what are you going to do with that? Why did you even buy them? I think when I bought them, I probably had an idea in mind, but never got to it. So into the box they go. And then I have these um, making memories. Looks like door hinges be great on I kept one I have two of these and I think I must have got them at Big Lots but I kept there were two so I'm keeping one and I'm going to use them on a uh, an album and it'll make it look like there really are hinges so that is a project in the making it hasn't been done have had them for years then I've got these Momenta uh, filigree pieces and I just thought they were so cute. These could be used on a corner, uh, wherever. Like I said, duplicate. Um, okay, do you remember Artie Cakes? Yes, I was a big collector of Artie Cakes. I loved the look of them. I used some of them to make keychains for friends. I used to make dangles to put on uh, larger albums. And but I had lots left over and they are in a vase that I want to use on my uh, dining room table. I love the vase. It's been, look at the dust on it. It's been sitting up on top of the bookcases. But so I want to take everything out of here and uh, I'm going to use it for on my table. So here's the first piece. It is a crown with wings and some bling. I really like these bottle caps and the first one says live artfully the second has bling and says no cash value and the third says Queen B oh yeah there you go then there is this one and they didn't give these things names um, and like I said these were bought at Michaels uh, just really great pieces great for mixed media uh, especially when you go to doing heavier projects so that one on the back of this one it says funny girl and this could be a necklace you know if you like heavy pieces and so could this one this one I'm just not sure it says G56 it's like a bingo piece so but anyway we're including that one then here you have a keyhole and a heart which could be put on a chain and uh, so there's that and these are some of my favorite ones which I had multiples um, there's a key and there's a little pearl which could be added to a 
a necklace and this says laugh and on the back it's just got um, writing so there's that cute little flower with the Eiffel Tower in the center of it all of them were duplicates y'all so this one is a butterfly and like a prism from a um, chandelier and inside of it they have the picture you can't see it I'm sure there's a picture of a little old-fashioned girl in there that's really cute both pieces could be a necklace and so there's that and then I have some extra spare part arrows with the um, Oh, what are these things? Brads. So there are brads for each one. I think there are two or three of each brad. So those are included. And now for more metal, this I'm going to take them. I had to store them and just, I didn't have any Ziploc bags to put them in. So here are some uh, metal pieces. I'm going to show you all of them. There are the large butterfly, three. Then you have some blingy pieces. These are great on cards. Have this cameo, which I think is cute, but I have two. Uh, there are some metal leaves. Uh, there are two, I know. Oh, okay. Had metal leaves. And there is this piece. There are four pieces like that, which I mean these these are lightweight and they are just really great on cards. Uh, so there are several of those. Then I have smaller butterflies. That goes there. And then there is this piece. Great on a flower. And then that would be really cute on the front of a card. Here is another heavier butterfly. Then you have these corner pieces. There are four of those. And then there is this piece, which you could put something in the center, or you could put a piece of cording or something through it and make it a dangle. There are two of these silver pieces. And you know, on the silver with alcohol inks, you can color these because I did, I have done that in the past. There are metal flowers, and you can put a piece of bling inside of those. And then there it makes two of those and two of those. Just really cute pieces that can be used for lots of different things. And then that was for that. So then you have those. Since I wasn't using it, I tried to um, equally only keep half of what I had. And uh, so then there are these heart-shaped ear uh, hairpins. And here you could put a picture of something in there and then use um, glossy accents to cover it. So that would be a cute project. And here is another butterfly, and there were several of those. And then there's this piece with the bling, and then it also has a chain so you can put it on a dangle. So that is the metal pieces. Let's put these back in here because when I ship them, I don't want to get all bent up. Uh, okay. I'm going to leave them in the plastic container. Then we are going to get to the wood veneers and this uh, package of Studio Calico wood veneer has hearts, all different shaped hearts and arrows. Why did I need two? There are chipboard tags, which I'm going to consider wood. It's a gift tag that comes with the twine. 
recollections. I, why did I need two? It has flowers and butterflies and leaves. I didn't need two of those. I didn't open either one of them. Here's another one from Recollections. I remember this one came out with a paper pad. You know, they had paper that went with it. It was the simple, Simply Pastels. And they had tags and stuff. And I could probably got tags in the drawer. But it says, Hi, flowers, tags, hearts, banners, and more flowers. And then there is this box here of wood veneers, which have lots of words. And this one says peace, family, all duplicates, or some had three, laugh, smile, you look lovely, smile, and that also has a ca old fashioned camera on it. Hello dear, the best is yet to come. And these are just like a die cut that you could stamp on. You could paint it and then stamp or put stickers on it. But paint it and then put some saying with stickers any way you want to do it. Uh, dream. Wish. This one I had two and I actually used the first one. I painted it purple and then I glittered it up and I put it on a canvas. And it just says, create something new every day. And so I have that hanging over my computer desk. And here are some more of those little plaques. And then there are the wood uh, doilies, doily shapes. I mean, all these were bought at Michael's. So there's wood doilies. And this just says, love and okay. And I'll tell you what. Um, this lot is going to be 45 um, I think it's worth it, but we shall see. So I'm going to put these back, and I'm going to leave them in the iris container because I really do not want them to get broken transit. So the iris container is just like storage shipping pa packages or whatever so guys that is that for this one and i like i said i'm going to say this at 45 oh, i need to see what that is i need to watch that okay so it's going to be 45 for everything here uh if you are interested please send me a message through the email address that you will find in the box below Thank you so much for the support and for watching, and see you soon. Bye.